Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Meghna Menon and you guys might be thinking why am I wearing this shiny top with these shiny diamonds? Because this is related to the topic that we are going to discuss about today. It is called as reflection. So guys, when, when light hits a certain surface, it bounces back. This is called as reflection. That is why we see images of ourselves in mirrors and that is also why we see colors. Like guys, if there is an apple that is red in color, it, it means that it absorbs all the colors of all wavelengths but it only reflects red color. That's why we see red color. So guys, for an example, so, for a good reflection to be formed, it has to fall on a very extremely smooth and shiny surface. So, for that, I'm going to do a small experiment. I hope you can see it. What a clear and bright reflection it is. Right? This is called a specular reflection. I hope over here you can see what a poor and blurred reflection it is. Now, this is called as diffuse reflection. Now guys, this is why we can see ourselves in the smooth and shiny mirrors but we can't see ourselves on the rough rocks. To know more about laws of reflection, you will need to know certain terms. So guys, the light falling over here, if you can see this red thing, this is the incident ray. Over here, this black line, if you can see, is the reflected ray. And over here, you can, I hope you can see the straight line which I made with a pencil. This is normal ray. This is an imaginary ray perpendicular to the object like a mirror right over here. Guys, I hope you can see this mirror. So, guys, there are three laws of reflection. The first law of reflection is the incident ray, the normal ray and the reflected ray lie on the same plane. The second law of reflection is that incident ray and reflected ray are on the opposite sides of normal ray. Now the third law of reflection is that angle of incidence equals to the angle of reflection. The angle of incident is between the angle of incidence ray. Oh, I'm sorry. The angle of incidence is formed between the normal ray and the incident ray and the angle of reflection is formed between the reflected ray and the normal ray. So guys, I am going to be showing this with an... Uh, so guys, to show this, I am going to be doing a simple experiment. For that, you, you need some cloth pins and you need a mirror like here now I'm just going to put it right here where I've written mirror I hope you can see properly guys now throw the light guys so guys this is the incident ray if you can see, I hope you can see, and this is the reflected ray, and this is the normal ray, which is imaginary and just perpendicular to the object, which is the mirror. Now guys, if you can't see clearly over here, let's put it into water. Okay, I hope you can see that it's in water, it's in water. Can you guys see it? So guys, I have put the mirror in some water and now I hope you can see this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray and in the middle there is a normal ray which is imaginary. Now guys, I hope you can see all three are on the same plane. I know you can't see the normal ray because it's an imaginary ray guys. So but it's just right in the middle right here. I hope you can see. Now, guys, if you can't see it clearly, we can also put some Dettol. So, 
So guys, now I have put on the lights. I'm just going to be adding some detol. A few drops will be okay. So I'm just going to take it on this one. So guys, now we just need to mix it properly, and we let's see if we can see it more clearly this time. Can you guys see it? Now, guys, I hope you can see it right over here. Incident ray and reflected ray. Now, guys, let's just. Revise the laws of reflection. So the first law of reflection was that the incident ray, the normal ray, and the reflected ray, all three lie on the same plane. Over here, you can also see that they lie on the same plane: reflected ray, normal ray, and this is the incident ray over here. Now the second law of reflection is that the normal that the reflected ray and the incident incident ray both are on the opposite sides of the normal ray see they are opposite on the norm from the normal ray and the third law of reflection is that the angle of incidence equals to the angle of reflection right guys i hope you can see it right here so guys over here you can see so many incident rays i hope you can see and over here some cor corresponding reflected ray so this proves if you use a protractor you can just see so this proves that the angle of incidence equals to the angle of reflection so bye bye